You asked for more, so we found more. Get ready for the next iteration of the most painful things a human can experience. This is our fifth video in the compilation, and we dove into the deepest depths of pain to top our previous four videos. Now sit back, get ready, and try to relax as we tell you even more painful things a human can experience. The first thing on our list is for the ladies out there. It's a condition called endometriosis, and it's been said to be just as painful if not more painful than childbirth. This is probably because endometriosis has to do with the same organs as childbirth. The condition occurs when the tissue that is similar to the uterine lining grows outside of the female reproductive organs. You can think of it like new tissue being grown close to but not exactly where it's supposed to be. This can cause all kinds of problems and is almost always accompanied by excruciating pain. The rogue pelvic tissue starts to affect the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the uterus itself, causing massive discomfort. When the pelvic tissue begins growing in the wrong places, it can cause cysts and scar tissue to form. But the real discomfort occurs at adhesions. Adhesions are scar tissues that bind two or more organs together that are not supposed to be connected. It's kind of like staples made out of scar tissue. If the adhesion is pulled apart in the wrong way, the scar tissue is torn, or in this analogy, the staples are ripped out of your organs. The pain and discomfort resulting from endometriosis can intensify during the menstrual period. So if cramps and shooting pains weren't enough for this time of the month, endometriosis makes everything more painful. Also, sex can cause women who have endometriosis extreme pain as the penis causes irritation to the pelvic skin forming outside the reproductive organs. In order to combat endometriosis, a doctor can provide pain medication and hormone therapies, but oftentimes the pain is too intense and the tissue needs to be surgically removed. If you're a male, you're probably relieved to know that you don't need to worry about this intense pain caused by endometriosis. However, if you are a male, you definitely should worry about this next pain. This next painful experience can affect men and women, but it's much more excruciating in men. Pudendal neuralgia is a severe pain around the gluteus maximus, or in more common terms, a pain in the ass. This can happen from a bad fall or from high impact trauma. The reason pudendal neuralgia is so painful in men is because it also affects the penis. Pudendal neuralgia can cause intense pain in both the penis and the scrotum. In fact, a report in the Journal of the Canadian Chiropractic Association described pudendal neuralgia as an insidious constant penis pain. That's not something you want to hear about, a medical condition that happens in the genitalia. The pudendal nerve runs from the back of the pelvis and travels just past the base of the penis or vagina, eventually branching off into other nerves. It sends signals from the brain to the genitalia, sphincter, and other muscles in the area. When this nerve is damaged, it can cause pain signals to radiate throughout the region. As mentioned before, this pain can be constant. If you've ever tweaked a nerve and been in immense pain until you massage it out, you can imagine how terrible that would feel in the lower back, pelvic, and genitalia regions of the body, especially if it was never ending. For someone who has pudendal neuralgia, they might feel a sharp burning in the perineum, which is the area between the genitals and the anus. For males, it might feel like pins and needles being stuck into your penis and scrotum. All of these sensations could be exacerbated by sitting down, so you could become physically exhausted as you try to remain standing to mitigate the pain. It also goes without saying that a male suffering from pudendal neuralgia would feel pain during sex or even when he gets an erection, so make sure to remain calm and turned off if you're ever diagnosed with pudendal neuralgia. The final medical condition we'll look at makes the first two seem like a walk in the park. This next painful experience is enough to drive you to the point of insanity. Fibromyalgia is a chronic condition that can literally cause pain in every muscle and bone of the body. The disease itself intensifies pain signals being sent throughout the nervous system, so it's almost like a feedback loop of pain. The pain of fibromyalgia is so terrible and constant that it normally keeps people with the disease from sleeping, which leads to fatigue as well. It's important to note that the discomfort associated with fibromyalgia isn't just one location or for a short period of time. This is a pain that's constant and everywhere. We've all probably experienced some pretty painful things like stepping on a Lego or getting stung by a bee. Now imagine that pain constantly running throughout your body, and that's what it's like to have fibromyalgia. The pain itself might not be as intense as some others, but the consistency and distribution is enough to drive anyone crazy. When you think of animals that can cause pain, you're probably not thinking about this next one. Fun fact, it's one of the only two types of mammals that lays eggs. The platypus inhabits the continent of Australia. And although there are a lot of different animals that can cause you massive amounts of pain there, you probably wouldn't think the funny-looking platypus would be one of them. Male platypus have an ankle spur on their hind legs, which contains a toxic venom. The barb and venom combination can cause a massive amount of discomfort. Researchers who have been unlucky enough to be stung by a platypus 
claimed the pain is excruciating and causes bad swelling in the affected area. To be fair, platypus don't normally sting humans unless they're provoked or being harmed in some way. In fact, the spur and venom is actually used when fighting other males for the right to mate. The idea is if the platypus can stab its rival, they'll be incapacitated. When the rival platypus is injected with venom during a fight, it'll be unable to move and the first male will be able to breed peacefully with the female platypus. The venom eventually wears off and the stung platypus recovers. However, if a human is stung by the spur of a platypus, things can go a little differently. First things first, the most painful time to be stung by a platypus is during mating season because this is when the platypus produces the most venom. If you find yourself in Australia during platypus mating season, stay as far away from them as possible. But what does it feel like to be stung by a platypus? In a word, painful. There have been no recorded human fatalities from platypus stings, however, after being stung by the animal, you may wish you're dead. One of the worst parts is that the spurs on platypus are not meant to come out easily. This means if you're stung, the barb will stay inside you, injecting painful venom into your body until it's manually removed. If the initial sting wasn't enough, you would probably take a good-sized chunk of skin and muscle off when yanking the spur out of your body. In reality, researchers say you probably wouldn't be able to remove the spur yourself, though. You'd be too distracted by the immediate, sustained, and devastating pain of the platypus venom. Doctors in Australia would need to administer local anesthesia to make the pain subside, since not even morphine is powerful enough to stop the pain of a platypus sting. And if you're as unlucky as one 57-year-old victim, the area that was stung could stay hypersensitive to pain for three months after the initial encounter. Needless to say, being stung by a platypus would be one of the most painful and unpleasant experiences anyone could go through. Sticking with the stinging theme, this next insect has the most painful sting second only to the bullet ant. Unfortunately, it's found on every continent in the world except for Europe and Antarctica. Being stung by a wasp hurts. There is no wasp sting more painful than that of the tarantula hawk wasp. Even the name of the creature sounds painful and scary. These wasps are huge. The name itself comes from their favorite activity of hunting tarantulas, so you know that they're going to need to be pretty big and pack a deadly sting. The large stinger combined with the venom the tarantula hawk wasp creates is the perfect one-two punch of pain. If you were ever stung by a tarantula hawk wasp, you would instantly regret it. The stinger would cause an initial prick of pain. Then, as the venom was injected into your bloodstream, the real agony begins. One researcher who was stung by the tarantula hawk wasp recounted the experience as being immediate, excruciating, unrelenting pain that simply shuts down one's ability to do anything except scream. The pain lasts for about five minutes, but it would be the most painful five minutes of your life. And if the pain associated with the sting wasn't bad enough, tarantula hawk wasps lay their eggs inside of tarantulas after they kill them. So if you were an incredibly unlucky human, you may be the surrogate mother for dozens of tiny tarantula hawk wasp babies. This has never happened before, but it definitely is the stuff of nightmares. Our final and hottest, most painful experience comes from eating. You may enjoy spicy things, but this next pepper is so hot, it can cause massive amounts of pain when consumed. One of the most painful things a human can experience is eating a Carolina Reaper pepper. It's the hottest chili pepper on the planet, and it can cause some serious damage. The Carolina Reaper is a cross between a ghost chili and a habanero. The way spice is measured in terms of peppers is using the Scoville heat unit. On this scale, a jalapeno has a Scoville rating of 5,000, a habanero has a rating of 200,000, a ghost chili rates at around 1 million, and the Carolina Reaper has a rating of 2,200,000 SHUs. So if you think a habanero pepper is hot, the Carolina Reaper is 11 times more spicy. People who have eaten the Carolina Reaper have experienced excruciating pain. From the first bite, the heat pain receptors of the mouth go crazy. The body reacts as if it were under attack by dumping chemicals into the bloodstream to increase blood flow and cause inflammation to protect itself. As the juices go down your throat, it feels like your esophagus is on fire. The pain is so intense that your body temperature starts increasing. The burning sensation follows the path the pepper takes through the body. And when we say the pain follows the pepper, we mean all the way through your body. Many people end up vomiting after eating the Carolina Reaper. This is normally an involuntary reaction caused by the brain trying to rid the body of whatever harmful substance is causing it so much pain. However, if the pepper is not ejected this way and it makes it all the way through your digestive system, it will burn once it comes out the back end. The extreme burn associated with the Carolina Reaper will literally run through your body like a wildfire. The pain of having a burning digestive tract is one we recommend you stay clear of. Everyone is different, and the ability to tolerate pain varies from person to person. However, on average, the experiences on this list would cause anyone extreme discomfort and agony. Now go back and watch most painful things a human can experience number four. 
or check out the original Most Painful Things a Human Can Experience.